Hi guys, this is Mr. Ergo, and today we're finding all the trigonometric functions on a 30-60-90 degree triangle, especially right triangle. Okay, so how do we get to this triangle? I'm going to start with an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means a triangle that all sides are equal. And in this case, I'm going to put a length of 1, every single side. If the triangle is equilateral, then it's equiangular as well, so the angles are equal. Okay, if the angles are equal, equiangular and the sides are equal then this is a re regular triangle all right this is for geometry excellent now again i'm going to get to a 30 60 90 how oh by the way i'm doing one as a side because i want to get to the unit circle all right so this is trigonometry to get to unit circle and if you notice my radius is one so i'm going to make this triangle and i'm going to put it back into the unit circle that's our goal all right let's go so I have this 60, 60 degree triangle. I'm going to cut it in half right there. If I go straight down, then this is going to be a perpendicular line and it's going to divide my base into two equal pieces. So therefore, this side is going to be equal to this side because I drew the line all the way through the middle. Oh, that's supposed to be a straight line. All the way and it's going to be perpendicular. That's what I have here on the bottom. Therefore, this angle is 60, this size one but now this is going to be one half right because i'm taking this triangle on the right side so i'm going to put it on the side one the side one half the bottom my bottom angle is 60 and if this is the whole thing is 60 but i'm dividing it into two pieces then each piece is going to be 30 degrees and this is my 30 60 90 degree triangle so the only thing that i'm missing here is this side by the way opposite to the 90 degree angle, this is my hypotenuse because I'm going to do trig functions in a minute. So this is my hypotenuse, this is the first thing you have to identify, okay? And I have a 30, 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. Between those two, the 30 degree is smaller. So opposite to the smaller angle is the smaller side and this is called a short leg. Opposite to the bigger, out of the 30 and 60, is the long leg okay and we're going to find the measure of the long leg in this case so to find the measure of this side i'm going to use the pythagorean theorem which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared all right so what do i need to consider my hypotenuse is always the c always all right this could be a this could be b it does not matter so let's call this a my short leg is going to be called a so i'm going to have one half to the second power plus let's keep it as b this is going to be my b side okay all right so let's solve some math one half to the second power is one half times one half which is going to give me one quarter plus b equals this is b one to the second power is one one times one is one from here i do minus one fourth on both sides because i am solving for b cancelled out and I'm going to have B equals 1 minus 1 fourth. But this one, because I have, I have 1 minus 1 fourth. When I'm subtracting or adding fractions, I need to have the same denominator. Therefore, this one, I'm going to multiply times 4 on the bottom and the top. By doing this, I'll have 4 times 1 is 4 on the top. And the bottom, I have 4 times 1 is 4. I rewrite my 1 over 4, and now I turn 1 unit into 4 over 4. I did it, so I had the same denominator. Once I had the same denominator, I just subtract the top, which is going to give me 3 over 4. Okay, so 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4. I forgot something. The square, the square, the square. Okay, that's my b square. I need b. I don't need b square, therefore, square root on both sides. So b equals the square root of 3 over 4, let's put it in the side, is the same as square root of 3 over square root of 4. Square root of 3, nothing we can do, but square root of 4 is 2. So therefore, this is square root of 3 over 2 on the bottom. And I found the side on the side, all right? So this is square root of 3 over 2. And I have the three sides. Now, I'm going to work with that to use it for my trig functions. Okay, now here's my triangle. 1, 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. Now, 
because my triangle has two angles, I'm going to use the 30 degree angle first. So I'm going to concentrate on this. For that, I'm going to find sine, cosine, tangent, and the reciprocal identities as well. So this is the 30 degree angle, which I'm going to concentrate on. So I need to identify the whole, all the sides of the triangle. This one, opposite to the 90, is my hypotenuse. If this is my angle, the side next to it is going to be my adjacent side. The third side is my opposite side. If you notice, all my ratios are dependent on that. So let's write them. My sine of theta, in this case, my angle is 30 degree angle. So sine of 30 degree angle is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 1 half over my hypotenuse, which is 1. Remember, I did this on purpose because I'm turning this into my unit circle. 1 half divided by 1 is 1 half. So sine of 30 is 1 half. Cosine of 30. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent. Square root of 3 over 2 over my hypotenuse, which is 1. Anything divided by 1 is the same thing. So cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. Tangent. Opposite of adjacent, opposite, 1 half over adjacent, square root of 3 over 2. Okay, when I have this, I take my first value, which is 1, and I multiply times the bottom value. So my numerator from the top times my denominator from the bottom. And those values are going to be on the top of my fraction. Then I multiply the middle values, and they're going to be on my denominator. Okay, so that's a quick uh, multiplication trick to do fractions. Or you can do, uh, what is that, uh, keep change and flip. All right, once I have this, I reduce, I simplify my fraction. The 2 from the top or 2 from the bottom, so I'm going to have 1 square root of 3. Now, can I have a radical denominator? No, so I need to rationalize, which means I got to multiply times the same radical. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, it's going to give me square root of 9 which at the end is going to give me 3. On the top, the square root of 3. Okay, so tangent of 30 is the square root of 3 over 3. Now, let's do the reciprocal identities. Reciprocal is the opposite. Cosecant is the opposite of sine. So if I'm going to do cosecant of 30, it's going to be the opposite of the reciprocal of sine. If I have sine, which is 1 over 2, then my cosecant is 2 over 1, which is 2. Secant of 30 is the reciprocal of cosine. A hypotenuse over adjacent, okay? If my answer for my cosine was square root of 3 over 2, then my secant is 2 over square root of 3. Can I have a radical denominator? No. Times square root of 3, times square root of 3. The square root of 3 times square root of 3, it gives you square root of 9, okay? And the top is 2 square root of 3. The bottom, square root of 9, is 3. That's how we turn this 2 into a 3, okay? This is the step. Now the top, I keep it the same. So secant of 30 is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Cotangent is the reciprocal of? Tangent. I'm making the little marks so I can connect them, you know, make the relationship. So cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Opposite of adjacent, adjacent or opposite. Reciprocal. So let me go tangent. Tangent, my initial answer was 1 over the square root of 3. My cotangent is the reciprocal. So let's flip that over 1. Right? I flip this too. Anything divided by 1 is the same. So there's nothing that I need to do extra. So cotangent of, thir of 30, I forgot to put the 30 right there, is square root, of square root of 3. Okay, so this is how you find the ratios, the six ratios having an angle. We just did the 30. Let's do, let's take, let's keep the same triangle and let's use the 60. Now here's my 60 degree angle. By the way, 30 degree is the same as pi over 6 radians. 
So if the question is, instead of the 30 degrees, they give you sine of pi over 6, my answer will be 1 half. They ask you cosine of pi over 6, square root over 2. So having a 30 degree or having pi over 6 is the same thing. Okay, please check this video so you know how to convert angles. Okay, let's go with the 60. 60 degree, degree angle. Now, instead of taking this angle on top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this on the bottom. Oh, by the way, this is one half. I don't know what happened here. One half. Okay. So now I'm considering my 60 degree angle. What changes? The hypotenuse is the same. That's not going to change because the opposite turn to my uh, 90 degree angle. But what changes is my opposite and my adjacent. 60. This side is next to the angle. So now this is going to be my adjacent. And across, which is this, is going to be my opposite. So what's happening is that those two sides are changing in between the 30 and the 60. Okay? So 60 degree is the same as pi over 3. Okay? So let's start with the functions, my trick functions. Sine of theta. Sine of theta, which in my case is going to be sine of 60 degrees, opposite of a hypotenuse. 60, opposite is this. Square root 3 over 2, hypotenuse over 1. Anything divided by 1 is the same thing. Okay? All right. Uh, cosine, adjacent of a hypotenuse. Cosine of 60 is the same as adjacent or hypotenuse. 60 adjacent is 1 half over my hypotenuse, which is 1. Therefore, get 1 half. Okay? Now, I, I said it before. Oh, the question was cosine of pi over 3. This angle is 60 degree, but it's the same as pi over 3. So if I say, oh, cosine of pi over 3, then it will be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be 1 half. So it doesn't matter if they ask you in radians or if they ask you in degrees. My answer will be the same. Okay? Keep that in mind. Tangent. Tangent of 60 or pi over 3 is the same as opposite or adjacent. Opposite is square root 3 over 2 over adjacent, which is one half, okay? Reciprocal, you can multiply by the reciprocal, which is times two over one, or like I, the trick that I show you is the very first times the last. So the numerator from the top times the denominator from the bottom, and that's gonna be on the numerator. And the middle two values, the denominator from the top times the numerator from the bottom, two times one will be on the bottom. The twos cancel, is square root 3. So that's my tangent of 60 or tangent of pi over 3. Reciprocal. Okay. Cosecant of 60. You know what? Let's call it pi over 3. Cosecant of pi over 3 is the reciprocal. So cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So if I have here square root 3 over 2, then here I have 2 over square root 2 over square root 3. Rationalize, the bottom is going to give me 3, the top is going to give me 2 square root 3. Secant, let's call that pi over 3. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. If cosine I have 1 over 2, then here is 2 over 1, which is 2. Cotangent, let's put two dots here is the reciprocal of tangent. If tangent is square root 3, uh, that's finally, that's your final answer, right? Square root 3. Then cotangent of, let's call it as 60, reciprocal of this, right? Reciprocal, I make that a fraction, it's going to be 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator, and the bottom is going to give me 3, and the top is going to give me the square root 3. Okay? So those are all the trick functions on the 30 and the 60. 90 we never use, right? 
But when we're doing it on the unit circle, that's a different story. Okay, guys, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, please. Yes. Smiley face in the comment section. Let me know that you're learning. Our next video is uh, finding all trig functions on a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. All right, and next we're going to unit circle. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye bye.